Hello friends, in this video we are going to discuss about how we can validate the response body using rest assured. Okay. So what are the depend I am going to explain about what are the dependencies I am using, what is the request link I am using, how I am getting the response body and how I am going to validate the each and every element in it. Okay, we are going to validate only single elements guys. I will be making couple of videos on the same thing so that we will be identifying all other methods. Okay, in this tutorial I will be using only is method. Okay, so you have the link here and once you post the link you will get the response like this. Okay, so this is a free link and which I am going to put in uh, description as well and this is a body I got if you observe it properly we could not able to understand clearly okay so for that what I did is like I have utilized the JSON beautifier tool in online this is a site I am going to put in a description as well okay if you put the entire response here click on beautify you will get the response like this okay in an easy understandable manner okay then what we can do is uh, uh, then we can identify each and every tag here something like status is success or not name is electronic city or not branch is this one or not so all those things we are gonna see here okay so for that let me implement this one I'll be using get of URL method and if I click on it I'm not getting anything here because it is not identifying so what I need to do is I need to first import this one okay so <clears throat> let me import that static uh, io dot rest assured dot rest assured dot uh, something like get okay <clears throat> once I have the get here then what I can do is I have utilized the particular uh, thing here so I am doing this assert dot dot I will be getting the body in the body uh, for the simplification purpose for the first one I will be using this one status okay and later we will see all the other advanced things in this one I will be using is dot is and is of status is what is the status status is success so what we are trying to say in this is we are trying to say that status is a tag name and the value of it is success and we are validating that whether the value of the status is success or not okay let me run this one and if you observe this one the status uh, is is coming from hamquest.is okay hamquest is a very useful uh, api guys very useful library here to validate all this kind of thing now you can see it has passed successfully but we are not getting any kind of data right so to get the data what we can do is we can just use this log dot all this will be uh, this will give the all the data okay anything we can use um, hash code Chalo. okay let me explore two things here let me show you this all first then we'll see other things as well okay maybe I'll show you in another video now you can see once it is successful we got all the response here okay then what I'll be doing is I'll be validating this name is electronic city or not okay if you observe properly this is a JSON array type JSON array so we need to give which element we want to validate post office is a JSON array and first index first index will be identified by 0 right so post office of name of 0 should be electronic city like that we need to give okay so what I'll be doing is here post office dot name of 0 okay so this is a parent one because name is a child one of index 0 okay and I'll be checking whether the name is electronic city or not so I'm copying here and pasting it here now let me run this particular code and see whether we are getting the data or not now we can see um, I, it started executing now we got the proper data okay now how we can validate the second one if we see here name is Vipro and let me take something like Taluk here okay so taluk of 
I want to validate the second one, right? So the index will be of one, okay? And uh, here, if you see, uh, what is the value? This is a value, okay? So we are just validating it in real time. Actually, you will get the response. Um, you will get what to validate in your requirement. So you can you can actually compare with the actual value in this one. We are not doing that since we are since it is like a tutorial purpose so i'm i'm just explaining the response here properly and we'll try to see some negative scenarios in this scenario in this case okay so i started running we got the data properly so what if if i give the wrong data something like this i have given and i started running the running the response now okay so uh, sorry started running the uh, job now so if i run this particular program it should fail so I'm gonna show you how it's how it is the response is coming assertion exception one exception found because JSON path of this one doesn't match okay expected is this is what I am expecting but actually this one so you will be getting the expected value in your requirements that value you have to put here in actual the response will be compared okay like that we can uh, we can ex uh, validate each and every tag here okay but um, this is only single value in other videos i'll be showing you how with one tag how we can get all the uh, all the all the data something like post office of name is having two names vipo and Lim and electronic city those things we are going to see in my next videos okay and please do subscribe to my channel for more videos thank you so much for watching